Hello, thanks for stopping by. I wanted to make a quick video of the last two and a half weeks while I've been using this Olympus 300mm F4 solely on my OM1, OM system, OM1. Um, where I live in Okinawa, we've had a couple of typhoons pass through the last couple of weeks. The weather hasn't been great, but I've tried to get out as much as I can to use it because obviously wildlife Photography is often in inclement weather, so we can't pick and choose. So I wanted to put it through its paces. So I've shot obviously birds, uh, close up telephoto, not macro, but butterflies, dragonflies, reptiles, things like that. So lots of different subjects and lots of different environments. Uh, so I put it through its paces for two and a half weeks. I've got to send it back tomorrow, unfortunately. But I've been very impressed with it. I use Panasonic um, Leica 100 to 400 most of the time and that's a very good lens but this definitely offers um, some different options in comparison to that lens it's slightly bigger and heavier but still you know in line with micro four thirds it's still a lot lighter and smaller than a full frame equivalent big lens because it's a 300 millimeter which is full frame equivalent at 600 millimeters i also have the 1.4 teleconverter that i've been using with it and one of the things that surprised me is how sharp it is with the teleconverter you can shoot this wide open at 5.6 and there's very little degradation in the image quality and i've never experienced that before with teleconverters usually when i use teleconverters they often make a huge difference to image quality and you need to stop them down. You, you certainly can't shoot them wide open. So that's been a pleasant surprise. Um, and also the autofocus obviously does take a hit with a tech converter, but not by much. So birds and flight are still definitely doable. So the three main things that I've noticed that, you know, three main benefits I would say of the lens in terms of when using with the OM1 is there are lots of features in the OM1. The OM1 has got, it's an amazing camera, it's got an amazing processor. With a lens like the Panasonic 100-400, you can't maximize all the functionality out of the OM1. For example, it's built for speed. It's got 50 frames per second, continuous autofocus. It's got 120 frames per second with that first shot being in focus and then all the shots won't refocus, but it will do 120 frames per second. Now, those features are not available in a lot of the other lenses. So I think the maximum speed options are only available in a few lenses. And the only one, the only two for birding are this one and the 150 to 400, which I've never used, which is a very expensive pro lens. So that's the first thing that's um, a big plus with the 300 millimeter is that you can really maximize that processor in the OHAM one and you can't do that with our lenses. The other thing is with the 300 millimeter you can do sync IS. So the already brilliant image stabilization, you can make it even more stable using the 300 millimeter. Again, not available in other lenses apart from, I think there's a list of about five, but in terms of telephoto lenses, I think that's the only one, again, apart from the 150 to 400. What else can you do in this that you can't do with some of the other lenses? So you can maximize the speed, you can use the Sync IS. Yeah, another thing you can do in camera focus stacking, which is amazing really with a telephoto lens. Of course, being a long lens, it's gonna be more susceptible to, sh to camera shake. And as you're taking within camera focus, as you're doing eight or 10 or 15 shots in a row very quickly, any movement is gonna affect that and it won't work but it has the option so you can take try three or four different times it'll probably work one of them and it's nice if you've got a subject that's still or if you're doing flowers or if you've got um a reptile or something that's not moving close up you can do that in camera focus stacking and again it's just nice to have that option so those are the three functions that i think really where this lens helps you use those functions that you can't use elsewhere Obviously, it's very sharp. There's lots of blogs and photos online that can tell you that. It's well built. It's weather sealed. Um, it's very sturdy, despite not being super heavy. And another thing I like, it's got this built-in lens hood, which is I love because I'm clumsy. I forgot. I forget everything. So to have that already on it, attached, and you just do that, that is a really nice feature. Also, the tripod thing. I hardly use a tripod, but 
it's Arca Swiss, so you can put it straight on a thing. You don't need you can put it straight on the tripod. Tripod. You don't need another adapter. So that's another nice function. It's got an FN one button, so you can program something like Pro Capture to that. So it's another um, customizable option, as well as all the buttons on the back of the camera. So yeah, and I quite like it's not white as well. I like black. It's just a lot more inconspicuous basically when you've got a big lens especially if it's a canon white lens you just feel very conscious when you're out in a park or something this is pretty low-key so yeah been really impressed i'll now put up, put up some photos i've taken so many pictures i haven't had anywhere near a chance to go through all of them so there's loads i haven't been through but i'll just post some of the pictures that i have been through and have edited hopefully you like them and i'll give you an idea of what is possible with this lens and the own one and then you can make your own decision whether it might be something that you like. Possibly you could invest it in in the future. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Give us a subscribe if you find this helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. best conditions and I haven't like last weekend I couldn't go out at all there's some man-eating chickens for some reason coming towards me this could be interesting Let's just see what's happening what are you doing guys Where are you going? Go that way. Go that way. Yeah. You're not about that life, mate. You don't want it. Hello. I was hoping I might photograph some egrets today. Hopefully I might find the odd one. I'll keep having a look. It's still way too harsh, but when the light gets better in an hour or two, see if I can get some shots. I wouldn't know where to start, there's way too many. There must be 200 here. 